Hi, I'm Creed from New Camp, and I'm a technical support specialist. And today I wanna to go over one of the most common questions I get regarding the Aldi system. And that's, why don't I have enough hot water or any hot water? So the first thing I wanna do is go over the Aldi settings to make sure those are correct. And then I'm gonna go over adjusting the mixing valve. All right, so right here we have the Aldi control panel. And we wanna confirm that our hot water uh, is on the right setting. So what I'm gonna do is press menu. And right here you see your shower symbol. So right now it's on the halfway mode, um, which is basically just normal hot water. Uh, it still will uh, heat the trailer, but it'll also make hot water. Now, if you want extra hot water, you can go into boost mode and that's gonna uh, give you extra hot water and it's gonna shut off automatically after 30 minutes. So we have confirmed that we have the uh, water on. And then what I wanna do is go into the settings here, the bottom right corner, and I'm gonna scroll down until I see service. So I'm gonna press on service and I'm gonna scroll down until um, I can see glycol temp and water temp. Uh, you should be able to tell if your uh, water temperature um, is at an optimal uh, temperature. Usually it can get as high as 140, 150, sometimes higher. Um, typically you want it to be at least 120, 130 degrees uh, before you start trying to uh, run the hot water. So let your Aldi run for quite a while uh, before you try the hot water. And this is how you confirm that you actually have hot water in the system. So uh, this hasn't been on, so it's at 79 degrees. So that is how you can confirm that you have the uh, hot water uh, settings correct. And you can also confirm what the temperature of the water is inside the Aldi. All right, so one of the things you wanna double check is to make sure your uh, Nautilus is in the right settings. So if you're using a city water connection, you wanna make sure to be in city water mode, which is this. If you're running off the pump and your onboard water tank, you wanna make sure you're in dry camping mode. Which would be this. Most importantly, make sure uh, this bypass valve for the hot water tank is in the vertical position. If it's this way, you're not gonna get any hot water or any water to the hot water tank. So make sure it's set there. In this position, I would be running off the uh, tank and the pump. So first we have the older style mixing valve and uh, it has the black cap, as you can see. So if you're not getting enough hot water, you would uh, turn it towards the plus symbol that you can see here. And if you're not getting, or if you're getting too much hot water, you would go uh, opposite. So if you feel that the water is too hot and it's a safety issue, you can turn it down. Now, if you have it turned all the way towards the plus symbol and you have all your settings correct and you're still not getting enough hot water, you can actually back this flathead screw out and you can pop off the cap. So inside you can see this little black uh, piece and you can actually see that it's lower than the outside ring. So what that means is the hot water, the chamber that allows hot water, isn't quite set to uh, what it could be. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your cap and you're actually just going to adjust it until it's parallel with the outside ring. So that's gonna allow the maximum amount of hot water. It's very important though that you don't go past that because if you do, you run the risk of uh, the spring letting go and water spraying everywhere and we do not want that. So once you get that adjusted, it's very important. You can see the knob right in here and you can see the knob right here. So when you put it back on, you want it all the way at the maximum setting. That way you can't go any further. So once you do that, you want to put the screw back on and make sure you tighten this with a flathead. And uh, 
That's how you adjust the old style mixing valve. So here we have the new style mixing valve and you can tell by the red cap. This one is a little bit different for adjusting. You have to pop this red cap off and on this red cap you can see this cutout. So that's what you're going to use to adjust a mixing valve and you have to turn it upside down. So you pop it off, turn it upside down and counterclockwise is going to give you more hot water. So you put it on here and then you're going to turn counterclockwise. For less hot water, the other way around, clockwise. If that doesn't seem to be working and you have all your other settings uh, correct, just confirm that the hot or the red water line, your red or your hot water feed line, is on the right side. And you can see here an H and a C. So your hot uh, water feed line should be on the H side and your cold water on the cold side. If you notice that those are switched around, um, that can affect it. So I would recommend contacting us uh, in the technical support department if you happen to see that. So once you're done adjusting, pop the cap back on and you're good to go. Also, if you notice that this is stripped out, you can actually use a 5 16 socket wrench to adjust this. So just in case that happens. We're in the bed area. You're gonna to have to remove two of these screws um, and they're gonna be located right here and there. Once you do that, you can go ahead and lift this and locate it right here is your mixing valve. And again, uh, you're gonna pop the red cap off and right here you have your cutout. So you're gonna to have to turn it upside down and counterclockwise for uh, more hot water and clockwise for less hot water. So here we are in the 320. We already took the cushions off the driver's side bed area. That's gonna give you access to this panel right here. So you just open this up. And as you can see, your mixing valve is mounted right here. Alrighty, so we're in the 820 right now and we removed the cushion on the dining area right here. And you're gonna find the mixing valve underneath this lid. You're gonna to have to remove a screw and then you're gonna find the mixing valve right in the middle there. We hope that fixes any hot water issues you may be encountering. If not, please contact us at tech at newcamprv.com. Thank you and have a good day.